Hey, Brandon, you want to pull up Veep Thoughts? Yeah. Um, these were, I debuted, uh, let's see, we debuted a couple of them yesterday. These are really deep thoughts by the Vice President, Kamala Harris, and I, I, I don't know, what, who is writing speeches for her? Are, is she trying to sound, what is she trying I, to I achieve she, here? I think she goes off script to try and sound intelligent. I agree. And yeah. then I think she gets lost in what she's but, saying. But really. I think she... In trying to sound intelligent, she wildly overstates something really simple, yep. <laughs> and it sounds ridiculous. Well, let's hear some examples. Yeah, these are great Veep thoughts. We have the ability to see what can be, unburdened by what has been. She loves that line. And then to make the possible actually happen. Huh? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. <laughs> working women who are working full time year round. <laughs> I am here, standing here. <laughs> Imagine a future based on what we've just been able to see. And because we've seen it or not, doesn't mean it hasn't happened. What? Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong to see where we are, where we are headed, where we are going, and our vision for where we should be. A friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> I went off script a little bit. <laughs> wow. Okay, that, that line, unburdened by? Yeah. I forgot, was it John Oliver that, that put together like eight of those? Oh, really? I think it might have been. It's got to be on there. It somewhere. sounds like something John Oliver did, but that he wouldn't pick on Kamala Harris, oh, yeah, would he? he would. He would, something okay. Like uh -huh. Yeah, she loves that unburdened by, and I don't know why, but honestly, I think she really has a problem with her speechwriter, or she just, does she think that she's talking to some common denominator that's lower than any of us can imagine? She talks really slow when she's thinking of what to say next, and therefore nothing comes out. Like nothing of substance. I think that there can be no higher priority than what we have been clear is our highest priority. <laughs> As one nation, undivided, out of many, one. Can't get around it. Can't get around without it. You are the mayor. <laughs> I do believe that we should have rightly believed, but we certainly believe that certain issues are just settled. Hmm. It is the responsibility as a chief legal officer, which each of them has a responsibility of being. This is a community <laughs> in the Mississippi Delta that has a, a, a long history of, of being part of America's history. <laughs> health care from the neck down and health care from the neck up. That's called mental health care. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and a big miss. A big five-footer goes along. <laughs> this is the Washington Free Beacon as a website, and they have uh, the Joe Biden... Senior moments? Senior moments of the week. Every week, and I swear, I haven't seen a repeat, so this seems to me those are all unique... Uh, Biden moments. But the Kamala Harris Veep thoughts, to me, every one of them has been stellar. I've only seen, I think, five or six of them, but we have one more? Yeah, let's we'll spin this what, one. What is she doing? Is she trying to sound intelligent by yeah. slowing down and, yeah, and saying the words thinking, really slowly? Yeah, like thinking she's of thinking what to of, say next, yeah. Like each one is coming as she thinks of it, incredible as that may sound? Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right. Big words. Which is why we will work together and continue to work together and to work together as we continue to work to work together on and I know we will work on this together. Let people make the most intimate decisions that are about what I call heart and home. What I call understanding that it is a real issue. 
You need to get to go and need to be able to get where you need to go. <laughs> what? And so we're working on bringing down basically the cost of, of what life requires for people. <laughs> we will assist Jamaica in COVID recovery um, by assisting in terms of the recovery efforts in Jamaica <laughs> that have been essential to, I believe, what is necessary. <laughs> we know how to do that. We got the meanest, baddest phone trees in the world. <laughs> phone trees? It's a phone tree. I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at her suit before she said that. Hey. Oh, boy. How did they pick her as vice president? Did they just have no other choices? Well, no, they wanted a fee. He said he was going to I know, he wanted a black female. female. Yeah. But come on, there has to be someone who speaks better than that. Well, who would think she was that bad? I mean, she's run for Senate. She was a prosecutor for crying out loud. I know, but... be able to speak. But, I mean, they they saw plenty of her. Or why is she suddenly so bad? Or did we, was she always this bad and we just well, didn't know I mean, her? yeah. I mean, I don't think she was ever that great, but then when you clip things and take them out of context, they sound ridiculous. But most of those aren't even clipped. They're just... No, 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 no. But, you know, and I pulled from a, from a larger speech. No, she sounds ridiculous. But... Honestly, I've every interview I've seen her give on the Today Show or Good Morning America. Pointless. She mm -hmm. never answers the question. So she insane. just filibusters by saying nothing. Yeah. Wow. Stunning. Those are good videos. There'll be a link to the notes if you want to check out the other fifty-six ones that yeah, they play, have. Yeah, play another uh, one of the Biden ones because those are pretty good. I mean, he. I. I've been saying this. I feel like these. Um, these these uh, <laughs> these brownouts, they never make the news. I mean, you'll see people making fun of them or having fun with them online, but they really rarely, I think a lot of people don't ever really get to see these unless you're looking at some website like this. That's him stumbling up the stairs. The fact that they are, we've provided for the number, of, we got... A lot of uh, input from. I reduced the deficit. I said 1.1, 1. 1, 1.7 trillion dollars. And there's a lot of other. For example, the idea that we're uh, in terms of uh, taxes that they refuse to. For example, we. Uh, I was able to balance the budget and pass everything from the, the global warming bill. Anyway, Representative Calhoun. <laughs> anyway, I should be coming out here, McCollum. Putting food assistance at risk for nearly a hundred, well, I assume nearly one million Americans. Yeah, he gets numbers wrong a lot. Now he's just walking. Well over, it's hard to say, well over four, 40,000. I've spoken at length with President Loon of South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one.